Well, good morning and welcome to this Friday edition of International Space Station Update. You're joining us now inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on shift, monitoring systems on board the orbiting complex. The team is taking a quick two-minute two break as the station's currently out of uh, radio communication with the ground, but they'll be reacquiring its signal in just a few moments. Today's team is being led by Flight Director Jerry Jason, and joining him at the Capcom console talking to the crew uh, will be Capcom Anna Fisher. So, Currently on board is the crew of Expedition 30, and they are being led by NASA astronaut Dan Burbank there in the front left row. And behind him are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. And then moving across the back row, you have European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, and finally in the front row on the right is Russian cosmonaut Alag Kononenko. So quite a busy week uh, for the crew. Uh, even with an off-duty day on Monday, uh, the crew started their uh, work day this week with an off-duty day following some uh, activities that they were called in to do over the weekend as they were moving cargo out of that recently docked European Space Agency ATV-3 cargo resupply vehicle following a failure of the primary channel of the Russian Equipment Control System, or REX, which is used to provide power to the spacecraft while it is docked uh, to the International Space Station. So Commander Burbank and his five crewmates gave up some of their off-duty time uh, last Saturday to unload some of the critical cargo from ATV uh, in the contingency case that the spacecraft needed to be undocked uh, on Monday in case they weren't able to restore all of the necessary power. However, flight controllers uh, both here in Houston, Texas and also in Toulouse, France and uh, the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow were able to successfully connect a backup power channel uh, on Saturday, ensuring that ATV-3 would have all the necessary power to keep its systems running and uh, calling off any need for a potential undocking. So due to all that activity, the crew was given an off-duty day on Monday to recuperate a little uh, in response to their giving up off-duty time over the weekend. Moving on to Tuesday, starting off with Commander Burbank, who was doing some conductivity tests with the electrical systems inside of the waste and hygiene compartment. This was done following a few voltage discrepancies that were noted last week uh, with that urine monitoring system by controllers here on the ground. And aside from doing that uh, important maintenance work on that vital system, Burbank uh, participated in an educational event with some students at the O. Henry Middle School in Austin, Texas, and he was joined by fellow NASA astronaut Don Pettit and ESA astronaut Andre Kuipers. Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov spent his day uh, with the Russian science experiment that's looking at studying the veins in the lower extremities of astronauts. Uh, the legs uh, of these expedition crew members during spaceflight are barely used due to that microgravity environment, so studying everything from muscle structure to those veins uh, is very important to seeing if any problems start to crop up. His fellow Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin was working with the Russian Matryoshka experiment, named after the Russian nested dolls. It's a radiation research project that looks to monitor any of the, uh, the potential radiation levels that the crew are receiving during their space flights. Meanwhile, Oleg Kononenko on Tuesday was working with the Russian relaxation experiment, which is looking to determine the effects of different propulsion system exhausts on the Earth's upper atmosphere. Andre Kuipers was uh, working on some of the express payload racks, specifically the nano racks on Platform 2, nano racks being a, a low-cost uh, payload bay experiment that allows uh, students and researchers from all around the globe cheap and uh, effective access to getting their experiments on board the International Space Station. Finally, Don Pettit on Tuesday was working on the micro -sci microgravity science glove box doing a laptop computer swap that helps to control all of the experiments conducted inside. Moving on to Wednesday, Commander Burbank was working with the station's attitude control system, and he was removing and replacing one of the global positioning systems inside, and he was assisted by European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers, seen uh, in the foreground of your screen. 
That system will be used to assist in sending navigation data to the SpaceX Dragon capsule next month as it flies in close proximity to the station for grapple and berthing. Meanwhile, Anton Shkaplerov started his day immediately with the Sprut 2 investigation, which is a Russian look into preventing unfavorable impacts on how well the astronauts stay hydrated during their space flights. And while he was doing this, Anatoly Ivanishin was working on the Russian interactions experiment, which is a psychological investigation to study the behavior of a small group throughout, again, these long-duration expedition space flights. Then the third Russian cosmonaut, Alag Konyenko, was working on the pneumocard experiment, which is a study of the adaptation of the cardiovascular system of these crew members during their long stints in space. And then meanwhile, Andrei Kuipers was assisting Burbank with that GPS removal and replacement and doing a little bit more work on the NanoRacks platforms, getting some uh, familiarization with the Microscope 1 and Microscope 2 devices inside of those payloads. Then Don Pettit was working on the VO2 max experiment, which looks to study the astronauts' aerobic capacity both during, before, and after their space flights, and began uh, the first of a few days of working on sea spins, which is a Japanese study that looks to see how microgravity affects the growth and life cycle of plants in space. And, uh, yesterday, Thursday, Commander Burbank was doing some maintenance work on the atmosphere re revitalization system. Uh, inspecting and cleaning a bacteria filter to ensure that the station's breathing air is uh, safe and reliable for the astronauts while they're on board, and also doing some work on the water recovery system, replacing a recycled filter tank assembly. Meanwhile, Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov was removing a few components from the Poisk module, or the Mini Research Module 2, and transferring those to the, the docked Progress 46 vehicle, which is the current Russian resupply vehicle docked to the International Space Station. His fellow Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin took his turn with that Russian Sprut experiment, again looking at how well the astronauts stay hydrated in space, and also was doing some cargo activities with that Progress vehicle, uh, removing an, a few items and moving some trash from the station into the vehicle, and also updating the station's inventory management system. You can see that Progress 46 vehicle there docked to uh, the, the nadir port of the International Space Station on the piers docking compartment, compartment, where it will remain uh, for a few weeks until it is eventually undocked and then re-enters the Earth's atmosphere uh, and will be destroyed upon re-entry. That undocking is currently planned to take place uh, on April 19th, and we will have coverage for that here on NASA TV beginning at 6 a.m. Central Time, 7 a.m. Eastern. So also on Thursday, uh, Alag Konyanko was removing and replacing a few tools in the Russian maintenance area and updating their work area. And then European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers was swapping out one of the laptops on board and then updating some of, the, some of its software and setting up a new virtual network for the computers to communicate and also participated in his own public affairs event, speaking with a, a planetarium in his native country of the Netherlands and giving a, an inside look of his spaceflight experiences to some of his fellow countrymen down here on the ground. And the final Expedition 30 crew member, Don Pettit, on Thursday was again continuing some of his work with that sea spins activity. You can see him here working in the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's Kibo module on board the station, and in conjunction with that, he was also working on the BASS experiment, which stands for Burning and Suppression of Solids, which is an investigation into uh, examining the burning and extinction characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples and microgravity. Then moving on today, to today, uh, Friday, Commander Burbank was calibrating the oxygen sensor of the compound-specific analyzer which is the device that was recently delivered on that European Space Agency ATV-3 cargo resupply vehicle. He was also doing some maintenance work again today on that waste and hygiene compartment, doing a manual fill of the flush water tank. And then a little bit later today, he'll be conducting some on-orbit eye exams, which will include some still video and images of the optic nerve. He'll be doing those alongside European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers and NASA astronaut Don Pettit.
Meanwhile, Anton Shkaflerov was doing an audit of the station's fire protection equipment today and working on the Coulomb Crystal Experiment, which is a Russian experiment that gathers data about charged particles in a weightless environment. Shkaflerov will also be charging the Iridium satellite phone that he'll be carrying uh, in his return vehicle. <clears throat> he so used TMA-22, of which uh, Shkaflerov will be the commander of when he uh, comes back home with uh, Expedition 30 Commander Burbank and fellow cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin uh, up on April 27th. And Anatoly Ivanishin today is working on the Russian identification experiment, which looks to investigate the dynamic loads on the station's uh, structure during different dynamic events, such as uh, docking, reboots, execu execution of physical exercises by the crew members, and also extra extravehicular activities. Meanwhile, Alag Kononenko will be continuing some of his work installing some more maintenance devices in the Russian segment's work area. Andre Kuipers is returning to some work with that VO2 max experiment and also be working with the ATV-3's gas, gas pressurization system, configuring the gas control panel inside for its first time use. And then the final Expedition 30 crew member, Don Pettit, is continuing some more work again with that C-SPINS, which is a Japanese investigation into the growth and life cycle of plant life and microgravity, and will also be using and familiarizing himself with the station's super-sensitive HD TV camera in order to record some auroras later today from the cupola alongside Andre Kuipers.